Hello guys. This is Dr. Rizwan Mirza. Welcome to my channel at Beardologist. Hello guys. Let's discuss about a very common problem, which is gallbladder stones, also called cholelithiasis. The gallbladder is a small organ located beneath the liver, and its primary function is to store bile produced by the liver. Cholelithiasis is a medical term that refers to the presence of gallstones in the gallbladder. Gallstones are solid particles that form from bile components, such as cholesterol and bilirubin. Number of gallstones and their size varies. Symptoms of the patient with gallstones varies, depending on the size and position of stone. Common symptoms that patients presents with, include. 1. Pain, which is usually the first symptom that patient presents with, it occurs in upper abdomen, typically on the right side but it may radiate to the back or the right shoulder blade. Pain usually occurs after meals, especially meals rich in fats. 2. Nausea and vomiting. 3. Jaundice, which is yellow discoloration of the skin and eyes, and it can occur if a gallstone obstructs the common bile duct, preventing the normal flow of bile. 4. Fever, due to inflammation of either gallbladder, that is cholecystitis, or pancreas called pancreatitis. Diagnosis of gallstones is based on clinical findings and other tests, which help confirming the diagnosis. They include liver function tests, alkaline phosphatase, gamma GT, ultrasound upper abdomen, or whole abdomen, and, in some cases, CT abdomen is required. Treatment for gallstones depends on the severity of symptoms. If the patient does not have any symptoms, lifestyle changes are advised, which include change in diet with reduction in meals rich in fat, avoiding the consumption of fast foods and frozen items and deep fried foods. If the patient is obese, weight reduction is advised. If the patient presents with symptoms, medications are prescribed for symptomatic treatment. Medications commonly required are, antiemetics, which are medicine for nausea and vomiting, or painkillers. If the patient presents with severe symptoms, especially if the patient has multiple stones observed on ultrasound, gallbladder removal is advised. The procedure is called cholecystectomy. There are two types of cholecystectomy, one is laparoscopic removal of gallbladder, the second is open surgical removal of gallbladder. The choice of the procedure depends on the preference of the patient and the skills of the surgeon that he is comfortable performing. There are certain complications that can occur including cholecystitis, cholecolithiasis, pancreatitis, gallbladder ileus, gallbladder empyema, gallbladder perforation, gallbladder cancer. Cholecystitis is inflammation of the gallbladder, often caused by the blockage of the cystic duct by a gallstone. This can lead to pain, tenderness, fever, and sometimes infection. Acute cholecystitis may require hospitalization and, in severe cases, surgical removal of the gallbladder. Cholecolithiasis occurs when gallstones pass from the gallbladder into the common bile duct and blocks the normal flow of bile. This can lead to jaundice, pancreatitis, and liver damage. Treatment may involve endoscopic procedures to remove the stones from the common bile duct and then surgical removal of the gallbladder is performed to prevent further spillage of gallstones. Pancreatitis is another important and common complication of gallstones. Pancreatitis is the inflammation of the pancreas, and it occurs if gallstones migrate and block the connection where bile duct and pancreatic duct opens in small intestine. This blockage of pancreatic duct leads to inflammation of pancreas. Pancreatitis is a serious condition that requires medical attention and may lead to hospitalization and is managed with intravenous fluids, antibiotics and other symptomatic treatment for nausea, vomiting and fever. It is very important to seek medical advice immediately if patient develops symptoms or any complications. It must be noted that ultimate treatment to gallstones is removal of gallbladder. It is better to plan an elective procedure before the symptoms progress to severity or before the development of any complications. If you have any questions or query, do leave us a comment. Subscribe to my channel at YouTube at Gerdologist and press the bell icon for updated video.
You can also follow my page at Facebook and follow me on Instagram. And if you like the video, don't forget to like and share the video.